The past coach brought some overseas mail. You clicked on it, you know what this is. It's a new air pump or air compressor pump hydrophonic koi pond fish tank compost tea. Mmm, compost. Now, some videos ago, I tested my aquarium air pump uh, I use as an air assist in my um, K40 laser uh, against a CO2 tank and an airbrush compressor. And it came out that the current pump I use um, is almost totally useless. So today you can watch me ripping out the old thing and um, hopefully install um, this new beauty successfully uh, as long they send it me what I had ordered. Um, even once I hope that this item does not exactly match the eBay description. Um, well, we'll see. Let's, let's stick into it. I already feel that here is a loose part. Um, there's a rip already. Nice. Okay, that's a plug. Quite wondrous that it's still in there because of that rip. So, well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty handy. Uh, as you know, I'm from Europe, so we always need these ooh, adapters. Let's rip into this thing. Mm. Nice generic packing, highly trustworthy as usual, because cubic boxes are out nowadays. The good stuff comes in a biodynamic um, design box that keeps your purchase safe and sound while shipping. Uh, it has these vent holes here and there that guarantees, fr <laughs> that guarantees Chinese <sighs> freshness. Mm. Okay, well, it actually looks better than expected. Um, it's, it's also some sort of brand. Uh, let's open this up. Ah, it looks like an air pump, at least the packing. <laughs> uh, plastic thingy for your aquarium. Uh, I, I will keep this part in the plastic thingy spare part box as I believe this thing comes in handy one day. No, I know I'm not a hoarder. I'm just hoarding some stuff I need. Uh, what else? Oh, we yeah, have my favorite part, the manual. Let's see, what, what nice uh, languages do we have? Chinese and English. You see you have uh, different, oops, different models here, different sizes. Uh, I think this is the smallest one. It's the 208. No, it's not the smallest one. It's the second smallest one. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Thank you for purchasing the Haila brand. Uh, ICO series electrical magnetic air compressor for optimum performance and safety. Please read this instruction manual carefully and keep it handy for future reference. Oh, okay. Well, that's a bit that's that's a bit boring. Um, that's all pretty decent English actually. Oh, you can you can blow up a mattress with it. Well, that takes no time at all. Now, what else? We have a piece of hose. Uh, let me grab this back. This is probably yeah to connect this to this uh, multiplying multiplier. <laughs> Um, I will put this in the in the plastic uh, part thingy, and this is a, a plastic hose part thingy that will go into the same box. Okay, let's uh, get to the main event, main unit here. Oh, oh, we have this little uh, hose adapter. That's uh, that's neat. That's pretty uh, cool to have, and pretty uh, well. <laughs> you probably need it because without you will not be able to hook this up anywhere. Let's see. Well, they even have a branded bag, which is uh, which is surprisingly okay. Um, uh, I paid around uh, thirty bucks, I think, for this unit, so um, the price seems to be fine. You have some rubber feet here that are rubbering, doing its thing. Uh, air inlet, air outlet. Um, it looks like they have cut away some of the uh, cable uh, stress release thingy here um, to be able to set it on the on the table. Um, well, and the paint comes off a little bit here, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's screw this in here, like this, like so, um, like this. Let's uh, let's try this out. Um, luckily, uh, <laughs> my camera runs on battery, so in case I will blow all the breakers in the house, uh, we will still be able to see the result of the fire. Uh, let's get this uh, plugged in here, and then let's uh, let's plug this in. Um, this will probably make some noise, so if you use headphones, uh, I, I warn you. And three, two, one. Oh. oh it sounds like a didgeridoo. Oh, 
Okay. Hey, that works better than expected. There is quite a little bit of air coming out of this. Hey, this is cool. Okay, I think... Uh, oh, I just... Oh, yeah, okay. I, I just see you have to ground this thing. Uh, of course, this is... Mm, well, this is not a... a well, this is not a cable that um, usually you want to work with um, for this appliance. But that's okay. Uh, we will ground this. Let's get over to the K40 and uh, put this thing into action. Now here in the back is my little aquarium pump and you see the hose coming off from there and goes through this little this little gap underneath here and it goes over into our um, laser bed and it passes underneath, comes up here, goes through the cable chain into our laser head. Um, of course you don't necessarily need this cable chain, you could run this straight um, uh, straight to the head, uh, just you have of course um, to take care that it has enough uh, backlash uh, for the sled to move freely in every axis, else it will result in a paradoxon that will trip a hole in space-time continuum and pull the hose out of this nozzle. Mm. So keep this in mind. I should drink more of this Chinese mystery sea tea. Oh, if you run, uh, if you run this this uh, hose um, to the head without any support, for example, this cable chain. You want to use a PVC hose, um, not silicon, um, not 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 silicon uh, hose, as PVC is more dense and uh, has more self-supporting tension. Um, else, it will bow down into the laser bed, and uh, like this, you see, um, when I move this here, uh, it, it it tends to bend into the laser bed, and it might move your your working piece while the sled is moving, or worst case, it will even um, it will even cross the beam, and as we know, you should never cross the beam. Goodbye, little over-designed, underpowered piece of German engineering assembled in China. And hello, mighty hung pump, also from China. Comes out, I had uh, hardwired the old pump into the power outlet right away. Um, and the thing is that I don't have any power uh, plugs left or power sockets, so I decided, to, as I have to cut off the, the plug of the new pump anyways, I can also just cut it here and fuse both together. And a small knife. One cable. Two cable. Eight cable. Rat poison in the cable, that's always a good sign. That's that, that, that flowery stuff sometimes in your cables, by the way. And I think I'm right there. That's a, a friend of mine told me that, who's an electrician, he said it's, it's a rat poison or a rodent repellent stuff. So they don't eat your cables and uh, provoke your house from burning down. Okay. Oh, that's, that's a pleasant surprise. We have even uh, copper cables in that Chinese masterpiece of pump. That's quite a neat thing. Uh, often nowadays you have like aluminum cores or whatever. Simple Vago cable clamp. As this is not something that runs while I'm not in the room, so I'm not too much afraid of producing any fire hazard. Not producing fire hazards with our K40 anyway, so put this on here. Now I will put on another cable tie here just to secure this thing so it won't come off that easily. Yes, something like this and tie it down with a cable tie. How else can we do this? Uh, let's, let's think, let's think for once. We could All hooked up, let's try it out. Oh yeah, the nice breeze of compacted air. The smell of cheap compressor oil. Now this smells promising. Now I made a test before um, with some flour to visualize the output of the old pump. Let's imagine this would be smoke coming off from your working piece or no smoke coming off from your working piece. You see that the old pump really was more of a mouse fart, uh, while this new masterpiece of engineering is giving this pile of, let's call it flour, 
uh, a good blow. And that's what you need. The more output your air pump has, the better. A CO2 laser uses the art of material vaporization, so it produces smoke um, that produces pressure that catapults out the burnt material. So uh, having a strong breeze helps to blow out these particles. Also, it prevents the material from flaming up too much uh, and leave those uh, nasty, <laughs> those nasty charrings everywhere. So uh, quite a nice, simple, and easy upgrade to make. <laughs> now, of course, I put a link uh, for this pump in the description. Even I can promise this thing lasts a lifetime. I will give you updates in future videos if I have any issues with it. But for 28.99 euros, including shipping, even this thing lasts a year, I would consider it to be a great deal. But uh, as my time machine broke recently, I need to wait uh, and see. Now, what would be a how-to video without trying this thing out? Uh, and um, this is actually a good point of time as I am about to build my first Halloween item for this year, the Flourish and Blots bookshop out of the Harry Potter movies that I am willing to build and laser cut, including airbrushing and maybe some LED lighting inside. Uh, I also thought about using some flickering LEDs um, to simulate some candle light um, inside of the bookshop when you look through the window. But we will see how patient I am. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see a more detailed video about this build. If so, you can also subscribe because else you will miss it if I really make one um, video about this manner. And uh, I won't see you commenting in that video as you haven't seen it. Uh, I think I need some more tea. Mm -hmm. mm. Now we have those little bits going on in there. Mm -hmm. So let's swing the Chinese plastic magic wand and um, let's get started. Pretty darn nice, I would say. Oh, yes. Let's take this out. Oh, parts falling out. That's perfect. Very nice. Oh, yes. I hope you enjoyed, uh, and I see you on the next one. Until then, see ya.